But guys, Canopy TCG here doing a deck profile of Shiny Venus at Venusaur. Um, I honestly don't think that this deck is going to be that good in this format, but um, a lot of people think otherwise, so I guess I'm going to profile it. Um, here's my optimized list, in my opinion, um, of how I would play it. Um, so I try to go with more of a consistent build with this deck. So we do play four Shining Venus X. Um, it's basically the Flare Down EX from Generations, but better. And it's Grass. Um, so, Energy Reload, you can move Grass Energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon, and then for three colorless, Gaia Blasters, 50 and 20 more per Grass Energy. It's like Flareon EX, and Keldeo EX, and um, Raikou, like, just the Grass version of that. Um, three Bulbasaur, I believe this is the only Bulbasaur in format, that's why we have to play it, unfortunately. And one Ivysaur. If there is a better Bulbasaur and Ivysaur, I'd recommend playing them, but... I think those are the only one we have. But the Venusaur is great because it doubles the amount of grass energy you have attached. So with three gas energy, you really have six. So you're doing 170 plus choice band. Um, and then three Tapu Lele because energy is a big um, thing. And it just says grass energy attached to your Pokemon. So if you attach a grass energy, Tap Lily, you can still use Energy Drive for 40. So that's another plus. Um, unfortunately, Venusaur does have a very heavy 4 retreat cost. So does Ivysaur. Um, 4 Sycamore. And 4 N. 3 Guzma. It's especially important to have Guzma in this deck because of your heavy retreat cost Pokemon. I would even consider t dropping a Sycamore for a 4th Guzma. 2 Skyhouse to get um, cards in your hand that you need because this is a little bit um, hard to get cards that you need when you need them. Uh, and 1 Bridget, obviously, because it's Bridget. Four Ultra Ball, uh, just to get Pokemon faster, obviously. Four Max Elixir to accelerate your energy, because this accelerates your damage by 40. Uh, three Rare Candy, um, just for the Venusaur line. Uh, three Field Blower, because Garbodor, Garbodor really is a stack, honestly. Uh, and only three Choice Band, um, I went with three because it just seems better, because it is a little bit, like, clunkier with, uh, more. Like, I don't know. Two Super Rod to shuffle your Grass Energy back. And two Float Stone to retreat your Venusaurs if you don't have a Guzma ready. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Grass Energies, which is a lot. It's enough to hit almost every Max Elixir. Um, and 11, if you have all 11 Energies on one Genesec, that is... Oh lord. Like... 520 damage with a choice ban or something like that is, is crazy. Um, the only um, sad thing is that you can't use um, two jungle, like, if you have three jungle totem, or if you have three Venusaur in play, um, you don't have six grass energies f per one grass energy you actually have, it's still only two. Um, so there's not a huge reason to get more than one in play. Um, another alternative to Choice Band is a uh, Fury Belt, because a 170 HP base hit is pretty good. So, um, one thing I love about Shining Genesect is that it is a non-EX, non-GX. So it can go through Nine Tails and stuff like that. Um, so that is, like, the main potential I see in this deck. Um, it's really clunky, but who knows, it might be good. Um, I'm usually wrong about stuff like that, so... But anyway, leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content.